What are we gonna make with that? Do you know? Oh no, you don't pull the you do the twisty pad. See that? Twist it. There you go. Okay, can you take out four pieces of bread? That's almost perfect. Not in a bowl, you goof. Look, these go on the these go on the plate. There you go. We don't nobody wants that. Put that one back in there. Put that back in there. No, no in here. Nobody wants that. Okay, twisty tie. Spin it. Spin. 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 No, no squeeze. Spin. <laughs> Spin. This is gonna be this is a sensory struggle, huh? Look, twisty tie. Twist it. Twist. Twist. Twist your fingers. Twist. Okay. Done with that for right now. Why do we have a random piece of bread in here? Did you want that? No. Okay. Right here. You know what we're making? You know what we're making? It's been a minute since you've been in the kitchen helping, huh? We need to do this more often. We're working on other things. Okay. We need a butter knife. Can you get a butter knife? Go get one. Wow, that's not a butter knife. That's a knife though. Good job. Look, butter knife. That was really good. Okay, over here. You got the knife part right. And you never get knives. All right. Do you want to help cut? Over here. You gotta hold it. Well, I like, I like the concentration. Oof, push. Ready? <laughs> you don't saw butter. Do this. I'm trying to help you with the hand. You know, we really should be doing this on a thing. Hold on. It's kind of weird just to have butter on the counter, huh? There we go. Okay. Ready? Push. Push. That's probably enough butter. There's only two of us. All right. This. Look, we wrap this bag up. You excited? All right, put that in the fridge. In the fridge. What are you doing? <laughs> are you stuck? <laughs> no, in the fridge. <laughs> that was funny. Ah, it works. Wherever in there. Yeah, I like it. Okay, we gotta open this soup up. Ready for this? Come here. Pull that back. Pull it. Need help? Could ask him. Alright. Okay. Now, hear me out. Listen first. Whoa. Wait. Gonna pour that into here. This is really good. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Sandwiches. Let's pop it. It's getting there. Whoa, whoa. That's open. Let's not dump it, huh? No, no. Don't squeeze the bread. Girl, I tell you what, you are sensory seeking today. Just bear with me. Hold on a sec. Here. Here. Have a seat. No, because you're not running away because you're helping. You're helping cook. Come on. Come on. Stem with that. Don't kill anyway. Okay, so we're gonna do one one slab of butter. You don't need a knife. Just pick it up. Pick it up. Put it in here. There you go. Oh, and then do a piece of bread on top of the butter. Just one. Just one. On the butter. Yeah. Yeah. You just gotta. That's how you make grilled cheese. You just kind of throw throw stuff around. You gotta quit turning the stove off though. That's a little annoying. What are you playing with? Another slab of butter? Throw it in there. Okay, no, we don't need all of them. And a piece of bread? Let's not rub our face while we're making food. I'm eating too. Like that, look. Take, oh, whoop. Get the cheese. Cheese. All right, take them over here. Here, focus. Focus. Here we're gonna put cheese on the bread. Okay? A little cheese 
on the bread. Wow, wow, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that's enough for two sandwiches. That's perfect. Good job. First step. Let's wash our hands real quick. Wash your hands. <laughs> you know, I get. You know, I love that you're learning, but cooking with you is panic-inducing. I gotta tell you. Are you stirring? Nice stirring job. <laughs> Thanks for helping. Oh, that's hot. Don't touch. Come here. All right, you ready? Look here. Look, we're gonna take this. I'm gonna put these on plates. You ready? Scoop. There. Ready? Scoop. Got it? Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna do our soup. It's hot. It's hot. Everything's hot. Turn your wrist. Whoa! Scoop. Look at what you're doing. Turn. Scoop. Now let's get the other bowl. Maybe I should have done two cans. I don't know how much is here in these cans. Is there two servings? I feel like there is. Scoop. Pay attention. All right, you do it by yourself. You ready? Do it by yourself. Ready? It's good. Scoop. You gotta do a lot of twisting with this, huh? It's kind of hard. There you go. Nice. Okay. Kind of making a mess. All right. You want to sit down and we'll get this all uh, ready to eat. Oh yeah. yeah. That's enough. That'll be good. We started the school year with um, Abby helping a lot with making lunch stuff, and just haven't done it very much as of late. Kind of realized that looking back at stuff we've done. So, definitely want to do more of that because she was developing some great skills with that. Got to, got to continue with it. I think the meals changed a lot of it. You know, we'd have like leftovers and stuff like that, but still she could work on the scooping and prepping and whatnot. And things got crazy with added therapy, so. But I want to take time to do that. How's, how's the food you made? Is it good? Hey, how's it? Is it good? I get a thumbs up? Good. You did a good job. You proud of yourself? Oh, we turn off the lights for ambiance. I got you. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest, I think, the biggest advantages of like cooking meals as like lessons, as like part of her day with like homeschool and stuff, is like not the act of you. Got, you got to see the the trees despite the forest, right? Don't look at the big picture. Look at the small details, like the wrist movements in, you know, scooping and and dipping and. Um, Counting, not two slices, one slice, you know, things like that. Those little bitty details. Like, am I teaching her to make a grilled ham and cheese sandwich on a Wednesday evening? No, I'm not. That's not, like, the ultimate goal. I mean, it'd be cool if she did that on her own. But the ultimate goal is these little bitty uh, lessons that she can learn each, in each one. But the reason why cooking is so cool is because that there's a finished product that you can be proud of and enjoy, you know? Whereas, like table tasks or like any other you know vacuuming or like i don't know vacuuming is kind of satisfying but there's no reward in it other than that satisfaction of it being done so lots to lots to learn when you're doing a cooking and preparing food and stuff like that with high reward um it's going to make for faster learning and a more more enjoyable setting so i you know i'm pretty much just convincing myself like we got to do that more often like we were before who doesn't love soup in a sandwich you know see you tomorrow bye i'm sorry i you new englanders it's not soup and it's chowder you know i'm sorry i apologize it's not soup it's a chowder it's different